how to fix common Clever and McGraw-Hill internet issues. The first and most common solution is to clear your Safari history. And we're gonna go scroll down, find Safari, and then on the other window, we're gonna find clear history and website data. So click on that, make sure you press clear, and it's been cleared. Let's check out, so in our web history, it is now cleared. Let's go to our district website. Now, sometimes the district will put updates and it's important to check those updates when we're going into it. So there are Wi-Fi connection issues, it's saying. So, and it's giving you some solutions as well. But in this case, we're gonna just try going into Clever. So let's go ahead and go into our students and Clever login. It seems like things are working rather smoothly and if that doesn't fix the issue, let's try another strategy. So one of the other things is to always look for, make sure under general that the software is updated and it's the most recent edition. This shows me, it shows you that I have not updated to the most recent version of the iOS. So I would click on agree. In this case, I'm going to wait and I'm going to say disagree. But if I have the moment, I need to agree to that. That might fix any of the big problems students are having. Now, under general, there's another thing we can do. Shut down. Now, we can also do this without the software shut down by just holding the hardware button uh, that powers it down. So that's a common solution. We can also do a hard restart, which requires holding the home button and the power button at the same time. So by doing that within 10 seconds, it usually will power it down and force it to restart. This is especially useful if the screen's ever frozen. Now, one other solution that might work is going into reset and we might do two things. We might go to a router, so the home router, unplug the router, and wait 10, 15 seconds until it's fully powered down, then plug it back in, and then wait another minute or two until all the lights are flashing green. And hopefully that might fix uh, issues, but we can also go to reset network settings here and this is gonna force us to log in again to our Wi-Fi and put in the password again. But that might be another way of fixing Wi-Fi issues. So hopefully those, one of those strategies might fix the problems that a student is experiencing. Uh, if not, we're gonna take a screenshot of whatever the issue is, load it into Google Classroom. So share it with me that way on some post uh, so that I know that a problem is, is taking place and then I can share a web ticket with the district. Thanks again for watching this tutorial. Hopefully it's helpful and I'll see you soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.